what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video another range test video i got the new xqi3 right behind me this thing is sexy let me show you this we're going to do a range test today on the 72 volt 6000 watt 8000 watt peak motorcycle it's fully street legal if you don't know about this you want to learn more check out my full review video up here up here up here i don't know it'll be somewhere in the top corner and in the description check it out this is the range test let me show you this thing and then we'll get started look at this beautiful beautiful motorcycle fully street legal we got turn signals mirrors license plate holder great suspension kke suspension this thing is so cushy and so plush but I've never had a 72 volt bike, so we're gonna see today what a true range test on the street looks like, and uh, we'll see what happens. A little bit about myself, I'm 5'8", and I weigh about 160 pounds, just to give you an idea of uh, the rider. Obviously, this will vary between rider to rider, but that's just what I weigh. Let's go ahead and get this thing started starting procedure on this bike is you take this NFC chip turn the bike on it will be in parking mode to make it start we're gonna have to hit the brake and hit this green button but before that let me open up Strava so let's start it's starting put that in my pocket all right so hit the brake green button the bike is ready to go so the route I got planned for today is about a 25 mile route what I like about this route is that it has almost uh, some of everything so since this is a street legal bike we're gonna hit the street we're gonna put it in sport mode when we do hit the street we might take a little bit of side streets and there's a certain part where we're gonna hit a canyon with plenty of elevation. Whoa! That lady did not see me. So there is a section of this uh, ride with plenty of elevation and you guys will be able to see all of the elevation gain. So it will be a very cool kind of overall test or what I call a real life test for this bike. On some of these side streets, just to be conservative, we'll throw it in eco and just hit eco all the way. If I'm not mistaken, eco mode tops out at about uh, 29, 30 miles an hour on this bike. Um, and sport mode is 45, which is what I was able to get it to. It was windy when I did that review, so we might be able to get uh, a little bit more top speed today. We'll check that out. But for the most part, when I hit the street, it's going to be in sport mode, um, going with traffic, you know what I mean? <laughs> the suspension on this thing is amazing. And I didn't even uh, adjust anything on it. This is literally out of the box, just as new sent to me. Now I'm going to take a little shortcut through this uh, bike path. So let me tell you a little bit about this bike. It's got in sports mode 6000 watts, but we have this trigger button over here. And when I press on that trigger button, you get boost mode, which lasts roughly around, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. And then it takes another 10 seconds to reload. But in boost mode, you can get up to 8000 watts. Now from my test on the original review, it seems like this is more effective in low end torque rather than if you're top speed already and you hit that button, it doesn't really seem to do much. You're not gonna gain more speed, at least from what I've tested. It seems to be maybe off the line or if you're in a small, like lower speeds, you'll get that power. We are gonna be using this boost feature a couple of times today just to kind of make it more realistic. The battery itself is a 72 volt, 32 amp hour, which should give us a decent amount of range. 
obviously with electric vehicles electric cars all that stuff um, all that stuff varies depending on the temperature the condition outside wind the weight of the rider tire pressure all these things come into effect when you're talking electric so this will give us a rough idea another thing is I don't want to drain the battery to zero that's never uh, good to do so if uh, by the time this range test ends and we still have 20% or so you know that's good enough for me just to give me a general me and you guys a general idea of what to expect time to go to sport mode now we got some street action happening open her up right now in sport mode all right full beans Ooh, it's windy i'm sure you guys can hear that it's really windy chop for this guy don't turn on me thank you chop for this guy don't turn thank you so as i mentioned i'm gonna ride this bike as you would if you were commuting on this bike so um, for the most part sports mode full beans Going with traffic, uh, I used Ultra Boost once. I'm gonna try it again right here after uh, this light. All right, let's try this Ultra Boost. See what happens. Clicked it. You see how? Oh yeah, torque real fast. Oh man. Oh, I can feel it. It comes on in like stages. That's crazy. And that's it. It's done. Now you see that? That's letting us know it's recharging. So same amount of time you get for the Ultra Boost is the same amount of time it gets to recharge for you to use again. But as I predicted, it's more in the lower end torque. You definitely feel, uh, you definitely feel it. Now the climbing part of our journey begins. Such a beautiful day too to come out and do this. Um, this road never fails always amazing over here so we got this car in front of us kind of hindering our progress but at the same time we said real world and this is real world you know you're not gonna be able to overtake cars everywhere you go when you ride sometimes you do have to take it a little easy you know this will definitely change our average speed in Strava but when you do look at the data at the end of this uh, range test, um, the time doesn't really matter as much because I'm gonna stop here and there and maybe take a break or whatever. I'm more concerned about average speed, top speed, elevation, and distance traveled, of course. So those are my main things I look at. So this is the highest we're gonna get. And from here on is a little bit of a downhill, which we kind of need, to be honest with you, because I'm already at 53%. And roughly about halfway through our journey. I'm going to stop at a view spot over here real quick and show you that before we continue. Here we are having that uh, turn signal it definitely helps look at this beautiful view absolutely gorgeous time to continue our journey full beans on that sport mode making that battery work all right, we're officially below 50%. Bike just hit 46%. All right, so back to more street riding. And then I have a little extra bonus. Towards the end, we're gonna make our way through the Vaulted Adventures testing ground and do a little bit of off-road section. 
because you know you got a bike like this you can't help it we're currently at 42 percent let's go boost i need boost all right we gotta make this happen quick i didn't bring an extra gopro battery my GoPro is at 30% and our bike is at 38% so let's make this happen here we are oh yeah this thing still got still spinning tire pretty insane just a little side exploring to add to our range test we're not gonna go crazy over here but as I mentioned my range test has everything included After all this, uh, all of these shenanigans, we're at 26%. Sounds about right. This route that we just took, I always use that route when I range test e-bikes with a large capacity battery. We still have a few more miles to go. Uh, we're gonna take the street, of course. I've been in sport mode this whole time so that is kind of impressive you know still got that power I'm not really seeing any big difference in uh, you know when the battery gets really low sometimes you lose some of that power still got the power still got some balls oh we just hit 20% and it's turning red okay this is perfect this range test is like literally the perfect amount And yeah, you're never gonna find a road wherever, you know, that you're just gonna hit eco or sports mode and just full throttle it for, you know, 40 minutes, an hour. It does not happen in real life. You know, this bike is not really meant for the highway, you know. It goes 45 miles an hour. That would be unsafe to use on the highway. So this is like a street bike. Again, forget the fact that it has knobbies on here. Let's just say it had, you know, street tires. It's a street bike. There's no street there you're gonna take that won't have traffic, won't have red lights. You know, you're gonna have to stop. It's never gonna be uh, a straightforward thing. This is our last stretch of road. We have about a mile left. I'm full beans on this baby. Still hitting the top speed. Um, so we found out that the the speedometer is a little off by a, a few by a few miles per hour so when it shows 48 49 you're actually going uh 45 but the speedometer is still showing 48 49 and we are at 15 percent that is pretty amazing a lot of e-bikes kind of uh start throttling down your power when it's time to uh when the battery gets that low so it's kind of cool to know that is there and you can see our charge i don't know if you guys can see the screen it's a beautiful screen and the period overall this bike is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous all right so now we're getting close to the end of this battery and yes the power did change just a little bit but we are yeah i can tell the difference in the battery but we are where we started wow oh my god 
Let's get off this thing. Ah, thank you very much. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing. Let me stop Strava. All right, just finished Strava. Guys, what a beautiful experience. My GoPro is at 5%. We made it back with 12% remaining on the battery. I did feel a little bit of a power drop, but that kind of happened right at the end of the, like after it dropped from 15%, I started noticing the top speed was not as much, uh, which is, is typical, um, can't complain. I'm super happy with the route I chose. It was absolutely perfect for this. I'll have all the information from Strava on the screen so you guys can check out it. again. Pay attention to that elevation gain. That elevation gain, it was a little bit windy today, but the elevation gain and the average speed should be pretty high. Uh, and then the distance traveled. Now, if we didn't have that elevation gain, I'm sure I can get at least a couple more miles, if not five more miles. Hopefully that answers some of your questions about this new XQI3 electric motorcycle. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. But that's all for me, guys. If you watched till the end, thank you very much. I appreciate you as always. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.